Pete's Place is a, a cafe run by volunteers, uh, except the manager, Lee, he's, um, he's a psychiatric nurse. We provide food for uh, the two wards and the day hospital and any member of staff or visitor that um, wants anything. Um, and we do a variety of um, types of food. We do toasties, we do sandwiches, we do rolls, we do wraps, we do jack of potatoes. Um, and obviously a lot of different fillings and that kind of thing. And we get asked for all sorts of different things. It's a lovely, friendly environment. Uh, I like it because it's, I can sit down, relax, do my uni work and uh, the staff and, and the uh, patients in there are lovely. They do lovely food. <laughs> I was asked if I'd be interested in going to Pete's Paid Place to try because when I came as a patient I wasn't very confident at all. I wouldn't go near men and um, I was very nervous but they felt it would be beneficial to perhaps build up my confidence. And so I went in originally doing very little which has gradually been encouraged by Lee and little by little it's increased till now I go in four days a week. On a Tuesday I go for a full day, on a Wednesday and Friday I go half a day and on a Thursday I go half a day and then back in to clear up at the end of the day. I prep the food, I make the sandwiches for the wards and I serve people which I used to find very difficult and avoid but now can do it. Because I've obviously had mental health problems in the past uh, working in the volunteer, you know, the volunteer sector it provides and helps with your recovery in, you know, rebuilding your sort of confidence and it sort of motivates you in, um, you know, getting back into normal sort of way of life and, you know, sort of, it's just so benef benefit and rewarding in that, you know, it's, it's, it's great to keep yourself occupied, you know. Having a, a sense of of it being a really, in a way, being a job. Feeling like I fitted in, you know, and that was part of society and that was, that's how it feels, you know. Um, the more I can do, the better really, you know, until I'm ready to work, you know. Just feels like I've got a purpose, you know. Um, probably, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of voluntary work and this is like definitely the best. I think the staff, on the wards are, are pretty au fait now with, with the cafe because it's been open uh, for a couple of years now. Um, so they do offer it to people when they're doing, talk about care plans and having motivation and enthusiasm. And also Lee, the supervisor, is very proactive in going to the wards and sort of saying, do you want to come down and, and you know, spend a couple of hours in the cafe and help us do the sandwiches? Because what we also do now is we provide one meal of every day to the patients on the ward. Um, so we, instead of buying pre-packed sandwiches, patients can order what they want for their lunch uh, five days a week and it's, it's done in the cafe and, and taken upstairs for them. The trolley is one of the things that we do on a daily basis. We normally go up to the ward between quarter past and half past one, which that's Connolly and Charles with ward, uh, to patients that uh, can't always come down into the cafe for whatever reasons, uh, to be able to offer them an opportunity to buy crisps, pop, sweets, chocolate bars, uh, and then also the same on Charlesworth as it is Conley and also on the day uh, room as well. And we try to get as much money out of them as we can so that it goes back into Pete's place. I like um, serving the customers because um, I'm a very talkative person so, and a bit of a social animal. So, um, yeah, that's my favourite bit. But I like all the jobs. You're working, although it's a voluntary role and you know, you're not being paid for it, it's, it's very rewarding that you're sort of, you know, you're providing a service to people. And it's, it's just great. It's just a great confidence builder. Well, often they don't start off with any skills. They might not have never worked in a cafe before. But with us having a member of staff full time in there, obviously they can oversee them. They can risk assess where they are mentally. And then what we do, obviously, is then work towards doing having food hygiene certificates. Um, and obviously they are overseen. They go through an induction process. And we're regularly inspected to make sure that we're, you know, sort of everyone wears gloves, everyone wears, you know, aprons and, um, you know, we're very hot on and that they should do things right.
it's helped me be more sort of sociable and you know working with other people with mental health problems and it's it's great that you can sort of you know interact with each other with other patients and staff and the atmosphere is just so it's friendly and it's 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 comfortable and it's it's just a great benefit it really is the atmosphere is very friendly um everyone that works there you know, I've not met anyone I don't get on with and we all sort of support each other and obviously with Lee being a psychiatric nurse, um, you know, he, he, he's very understanding, you know. Each day, although it's different people, you like a family and you feel supported by each other. And often we will go in and one or two of us might say we need a hug and we have a hug and that's it, you know, we do feel supported by one another and as a big family, yeah. It gives you a better self-esteem and also all the people in and around you that care about you, uh, help you to become more self-assertive along the way. I feel proud every day anyway, but yeah, I've, I take pride in what I do. I'm happy to do it. Yeah, it does give you a little lift, I suppose. You know, working with the tail and stuff and responsibility for you and stuff like that. I think it is used in a lot of hospitals, but I don't know whether, that it's used that much in acute care. I think that's where it's slightly different. I know that the you know, <clears throat> service user cafes do spring up and social enterprises spring up, but this is slightly different in the fact that it's acute care. So people even at their the lowest ebb or the most poorly in the town, we can still use the cafe as a part of, of starting that recovery process off. So it does work, definitely.